Hi guys, welcome back to math class with Miss Brown. In today's class, we will be comparing fractions using the butterfly method. In order to do the butterfly method, we have to cross multiply, okay? So let's take a look at an example. Let's write the first problem. So we have three fourths and let's do, um, let's see. Let's do five, six, right? So we're gonna compare both of those, right? So in order to compare those, we have to cross multiply. That is what you call the butterfly method. So we're gonna do three times six, okay? And three times six is 18. And I'm gonna put the 18 on the side of the three because we started with the three. And then the next one, we're going to do the five times the four. And five times four is 20. And the 20 is going to go on um, the side with the five because we started with the five, right? So now we have 18 and 20. We're gonna compare those. 18 is smaller than or less than 20, right? So that tells us that the 18 is on the same side as the 3 fourths, and the 20 is on the same side as the 5 6. So that tells us that 3 fourths is less than 5 6. See? So simple, right? That was so easy, okay? So now let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and erase, and we are going to try another one, okay? So let's erase this here, all right? And now let's start with 1 half. Yeah, let's write 1 half, and we're going to do 4 eighths. Same thing, we're gonna cross multiply, okay? We're gonna do one times eight, and one times eight is eight. So I'm gonna put the eight on the side of the one half, right? And then uh, four times two is also eight, and I'm gonna put that eight on the other side. So now we have two eights on both sides. Eight is equal to eight, so therefore one half is equal to four eighths. There you go, right? Isn't that so easy? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and give you guys another one. All right, this is going to be the last one because this is so simple and easy if you just cross multiply, okay? So so let's do 9, 12, right? And let's do 3, 9. So we're going to compare. Remember, cross multiply. So uh, let's write the 9, okay? 3, 9, okay? So now we're going to cross multiply. 9 times 9, okay? Right? 9 times 9 is 81, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and write the 81 on this side, and then 3 times 12 is 36, so now we are working with 81 and 36. Oh, let me write the 36. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Yep, so now we're going to do, we're going to work with the 81 and the 36. So we know 81 is bigger than or greater than 36. So therefore, 9 twelfths is greater than 3 ninths. There you go. I hope you guys had fun. Bye.